What is going on guys and welcome to CSS tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about transitions in CSS. So over here you can see that I have a simple div that has a paragraph in it and basically I have only thing I have a width and a height and a background color. So if I go over here to uh, main CSS I would need to add a transition. So the first thing that I would need to obviously do is actually add a transition property. So the next thing, obviously, I would have to come up with some kind of value, right? So my value in this case is going to be width. And the next thing that I would need to add a transition uh, timing, right? Transition, how long it would take. So I would write over here transition. And I would say transition duration. And I would say that it's going to be like three seconds over here. Now I can see that nothing is happening because I need to go over here and actually create an event that actually going to trigger this. So in this case, I'm just going to write a div hover. So whenever I'm going to be hovering it over the div, it's actually the transition is going to take the place. And another thing that needs to happen, actually the width that we specifically said during the transition, we actually need to specifically say what should be the transition. So in this case, I'm just going to write 300 pixels. So you can see what's happening. And as we go over here, you can see how the width is changing. And when I actually leave the box, you can see that it goes back to uh, back to the original, right? So again, if we open up a main CSS, and if we just have a look what we can do, and let's just go to main CSS because then I have both of them. So let's say that I would change my mind and I could say that, you know what, I would want to hide. But I want to show you there is actually a shorter way how to write this. So let's say over here we have width, so we can write three seconds. So it would be the same thing that we wrote before. It just saves us this one line of typing. And over here I'm just going to write that I would want to change height. And this should not take four seconds. But again, I would need to go over here to div hover and write over here height. And let's say I'm just going to write 400 pixels. And let's go over here and now you can see what happens that you can see that my height and my width both are changing now i can also do a couple of things that i can let's say use another um, property and the property is going to be transition timing function and let's say you can see that it it says over here ease in or ease out or let's see let's use ease out and again if we go over here you can see what's happening that you can see that it's kind of slowing down as it's as it's actually finishing right now another th uh, another property that i would want to show you is actually transition delay and again it's pretty self-explanatory it's pretty much gonna uh, delay a little bit transition so let's say one second and again if we go over here you can see what happens and that it basically it's delaying our transition now, another thing that I would want to show you is if you remember the last video when we actually said uh, that we, about transformations, that actually we can actually combine both of them. So what I can do over here, I can say transform. Transform over here. And I could say transformation should take like two seconds, right? The same as the height and the width. They each have separate values. And over here, I would write transform and I would need to decide what type of transformation I would want, right? So let's say in this case, I'm just going to decide that I would want like some type of rotating uh, transformation. So I'm just going to say that, I don't know, it's going to rotate like 30 degrees, right? So we just close it out here and we check it out and see what happens. You can see how it's rotating and obviously it's going to be going back as I don't hover over it anymore it's gonna it should go back and now you can see the, how it's going back so it's pretty simple but it actually it can create some nice stuff on your website uh thank you very much for watching guys uh i'll see you in